ओके सो वी सो द बेसिक्स ऑफ एनुअल इक्वलेंट वर्थ क्राइटेरिया नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट इज इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट द एनुअल इक्वलेंट वर्थ Uh, the uh, the factor that we consider here is capital recovery factor. Capital recovery factor, uh, it will convert a lump sum amount that is either a future worth, uh, uh, either F or P, present worth or either uh, P, to its equivalent annuity. Okay, equivalent annuity means every year some fixed amount is being paid. That is what. Uh, the capital recovery factors so uh, this factor uh, helps in the conversion or this factor is what uh, converts a lump sum amount to equivalent annuity and this annuity will represent uh, an investment or a uh, investment or um, some uh, amount that is being recovered from the Uh, uh, investment that we made, basically. Okay, so this capital recovery factor is represented as a given p, comma i, comma n. That is what capital recovery factor is. So it is basically for both repayment of the capital inv uh, invested and the interest earned on the unre unrecovered portion of the investment. That is, say first year uh, some amount. Uh, of uh, interest is earned from unrecovered portion and we paid some amount so both are considered here we will take an example then you will understand it better okay so okay we are going to consider this example here okay i should uh, mm, okay this is the example that we are considering here so we have an asset that is purchased for rupees 40000 and it's expected life here okay so one thing that we need to consider here is we are converting uh, this entire asset uh, we are considering uh, a lump sum amount here to uh, p a lump sum amount to um, a that lump sum amount can be p or f correct no so this lump sum amount what do we have here we will convert it to annuity right so uh, how many years do we consider that is what is the n that we are considering here n is nothing but a lifetime of the asset okay so uh, annuity will be calculated for the lifetime of the asset if the life time of the asset is 10 years then whatever the capital investment that we made p will be converted to 10 years of annuity that is how it is okay now coming to this problem so we have an asset that is purchased for 40000 and it is expected uh, its life time is 4 years and at the end of 4 years there is no salvage value we are not getting any salvage value by the end of 4 years then we the purchaser we uh, the purchaser should recover this 40000 over 4 years and there has to be some uh, interest from this 40000 that if this 40000 was invested in some other uh, investment then he would have got some interest so that also he intends to recover from this okay so when with i is equal to 10 what is the equal payment that we will get from this uh, in investment that is what we need to find out so what is the equal series of equal payment that we need to get so series of equal payment is nothing but a which is equal to uh, p into uh, a given p comma i comma n and what exactly it is here that is nothing but uh, 40000 into into uh, a given p comma now what is i i is nothing but 10% comma for 4 years which is the lifetime so it is nothing but 
40,000 into uh, from the interest table we will get 10 comma 4 what is the uh, value for a given p it is nothing but 0 0.3 1 5 4 7 so what do we get here we will get 12,000 uh, 600 and 12,000 618 sorry 18 point Eight, three. This is what we will get as annual equivalent amount. Okay. So, what do you mean by this? So, uh, at 0th year, our uh, investment is 40,000. Okay. Now, with this 40,000, what is the interest that we were supposed to earn? So, from 40,000 for 10% interest rate we were supposed to get 4000 right so interest that uh, was supposed to be earned was 4000 no now what is the first payment every year payment is 12618.83 okay so of which um so, 12,618.83 minus 4,000 is the unrecovered capital. Okay. So, so that is we will get around that is equal to 800 and, eight, sorry, 8,618. 18.83 so that is what we will get so uh, what we will do we will fill this table then we will get a better idea of how exactly it is so uh, at zero tier our investment was 40,000 okay now what did we get at the end of first year, our in, in interest was 4,000. That is, what is 4,000? 10% of 40,000. So, our interest was 4,000. So, uh, now, we will get, our annuity is 12,000, uh, six, sorry, 618.83 is our capital so our annuity every year for the next four years so this is what our annuity that is the amount that we need to spend or uh, spend every year okay so that is 12000 now what is uh, what is it so from this 12000 uh, some amount is of the capital is recovered what is the amount of capital this is the interest earned so amount of capital recovered will be this that is nothing but 12618.83 minus 4000 which is equal to 8618 point eight three okay this is what so this is the capital recovered so how much capital is left at the end of first year this sorry for forty thousand minus this amount is left to be recovered okay that is equal to forty thousand forty thousand minus eight six 18.83 that is nothing but 31,000 uh, 31,000 uh, sorry 318.81.17 is the amount that should be recovered by the end of first year how first year we spent we uh, gave 12,618 of which 4000 was the interest 
4000 was the interest then rest is the capital recovered so uh, 12000 this minus interest rate we get the capital recovered now capital so much amount is recovered from the 40000 borrowed so 31000 is left that should be paid back okay now coming to the second year second year 10% of this is what we need to pay what is 10000 10% of this 3 1 3 8 point 1 2 okay that is 10% so from which what is the capital amount recovered nothing but this minus this this that is nothing but 9480.72 is what we will get uh, uh, sorry it is the amount that is recovered so this so equal so what is the capital that is not recovered that is previous capital minus this that is equal to 21900.45 is what need to be recovered okay so now what is the next again next by the end of third year by the end of third year what is it that we will get we will get 10% of this that is 2190.05 is what we will recover. So, uh, again, this is 10, this will be 10,428.79, and what is the capital that is not recovered? 11,471.67 okay now what is it that we have 10% of this in the fourth year it will be 1,147.17 so here it will be 11,471. point uh, 6 7 so this will become 0 how so you can find out the total sum so what is the total interest earned it will become sum of all this will become 10,475.33 and this is nothing but 40,000 and uh, this is what is the total uh, amount here 50,475 point some 33 okay so this is what it is so what is it that we get so total interest paid with the increase in annual payment is reduced so final uh, re, sorry sorry final uh, payment is again uh, uh, 50,475.33 with an interest of 10,000. Okay, that is what it is.